I'm Elisa Giudici from Gainsurf Tiscali, Italy. And my first question is about tigers, of course. I read oh. that they are elusive animals. So I'd like to ask you uh, how it was to work with them uh, compared to other animals you already shoot, such as elephants, for example. Hi, Elisa. Um, the simple answer is much harder. <laughs> <laughs> so tigers um, spend a lot of time sleeping. Um, and um, they are often hidden from, from view through jungle. Um, and some of the things that you might try to film with them are very difficult, like hunting. Um, there are lots of things about tigers that are very hard. We were very lucky to have an incredibly experienced Indian crew who, or Indian experts and drivers who knew tigers so well they would look into the horizon and say look tiger there and we just couldn't see it no. um and it was really their field craft that yes. that helped us to find and follow the tigers and also i think there have been lots of technological advances during our time as filmmakers that allows us to film tigers from far away with very stable images um oh. with aero stabilized cameras which was not possible 10 years ago um, and um, that ability to follow a tiger far from far away with a very stable image really helped. You can go for weeks, and even with our great equipment and our fantastic guides, you could go for weeks and not see a tiger. Or when you do, you just glimpse them. So it was very hard one. We spent 1,500 days over five years to capture this film. Yeah, so time is the other thing that you yeah. need. You need a lot of time. <laughs> a lot of time. What would you say is essential in terms of equipment or organization uh, to be ready when the unexpected happens? For example, is the very lucky day in which something huge happens? I, I think a lot of that comes from the experience of having, uh, or from having really experienced crew. Yeah. So our principal cinematographers are fantastic. We've worked with them all the way back from before planet Earth. And they are so experienced. They know that every film we say is a marathon, not a sprint. And if you don't see a tiger for two weeks, every single time you go out, you've got to expect and be ready that something amazing will happen. So you need the right mentality to just believe that any moment something good can happen and you can be ready. Because if you allow yourself to go, oh, I haven't seen a tiger for three weeks, when something does happen, you'll miss it. <laughs> I always wonder about the emotional side because uh, when we see the final product, uh, there is a story very emotional sometimes. So I'd like to ask you if uh, there is a bond in a way following these small tigers, uh, there is a lot of dangers uh, and uh, sometimes there are something sad that happens. So how it is to live uh, in real time, not knowing how we will end uh, the story, let's say. Yeah, I think it's inevitable as filmmakers, we do get to know these animals extremely well. And, you know, you really, particularly as a, a mother, I felt huge bonds with, with actually Amber and the challenges that a female tiger has to go through every single day. She has to hunt every few days and more as the tigers grow. But it, when she leaves her cubs, they're unbelievably um, vulnerable to attacks by pythons or invading male tigers, as you saw in the film, Shankar comes in and is constantly trying to sniff out if there are other young cubs in the area. So, I, you know, as a mum, you, you kind of, every time you see the rushes come back from a shoot, you're relieved to see that everyone's okay because it's, it's, it's challenging for tigers. Yeah. Um, and it's not a given that all cubs, as you saw, one of the cubs didn't make it through, um, will actually get to the age where they can leave home and become independent. Did I ask you something about the tiger frog's relationship? Because it was really surprising for me. I'd like to know if uh, you did know in advance that, that there is this particular dynamic. So it was a really a lucky moment. <laughs> yeah, it was one of a, a number of lucky moments. You always hope on a film that you find new things um, and you, you get surprised. And that was one of those for us. It wasn't in the science papers. No, it wasn't it in the script. Yeah. It wasn't in the science papers. You know, it wasn't, we'd never seen it before. Um, 
So it was just a magical moment. And and um, it was great because, you know, the, the frogs are completely safe and there's no way the tiger can reach them or eat them. But it's a great place to hunt flies. And um, no, it's, and, of, and of course, the other thing is that the frogs are very safe because some of the other animals who would eat frogs mm. won't come near a tiger. Yes. So it's a brilliant, genius hunting platform for, <laughs> for a frog. <laughs> Thank you so much for today and for this interview. It was a Thank pleasure. You. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So much. Disney Nature's Tiger, narrated by Priyanka Chopra Jonas, available April 22nd on Disney+. Plus.